Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we are going to get you some important general messages. This is a general reading and it will not resonate with each and every one of you. All right, uh, Virgo, let's get our reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me. Important general messages for Virgo today. nice we've got the ten of cups as the outcome very good so this for me can indicate reunion reuniting with someone from your past or meeting someone whom you're going to spend the rest of your life with um, for some of you if right now you are currently connected with someone it looks pretty promising uh, it looks like it's going to be a very emotionally fulfilling uh, connection but ten of cups can also indicate family and there are kids here, children. So for some of, some of you, if you want to start a family, this is definitely a very good sign with a Ten of Cups here. That means a successful conception and an addition to your family. It could also be um, pets. You adopting a pet or, uh, or adopting more pets. <laughs> this is very nice because Ten of Cups also can indicate finally Finally, everything is coming together. Um, this could have been something that you've been wishing for. You may have been through a lot. Um, any struggles, difficulties, I definitely see a very, very good outcome. Whatever the outcome could be, like I mentioned early on, um, it's your wishes coming true. But we've got the death card here. So an ending will lead to a new beginning. But the death card also indicates transformation. And we've got the King of Wands here in Lovers. When a court card appears, it could indicate a person, literally a person, or it could just be the energy. But I feel like the King of Wands in Lovers can indicate somebody whom you could be dealing with, thinking about. Uh, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. With it being reversed and the death is above the King of Wands in Lovers, so there's a death of this person, okay? I'm not saying they're dead. Um, but it could be their, um, how they used to be. Because King of Wands in Reverse is not such a nice king, okay? Doesn't matter, again, king or queen is not gender specific, but definitely not a very nice king, right? Someone who may be either inconsistent or had behavioral problems, attitude problems, or may, uh, may be really impatient, could be a player as well. Um, <clears throat> can be any of these things, or somebody whom is not taking any actions towards you, appropriate actions, somebody unreliable, okay? I feel like it could mean the death of this person's uh, past behavior, or death sometimes can, can indicate literal death. It is so weird. I just had a dream <laughs> just now. I just woke up, right? Um, I just had a dream that an ex of mine, somebody told me an ex of mine is like dead. But for some reason in my dream, I didn't believe my friend because he used to trick me into thinking that he was gonna, you know, end his life and that, so that I would take him back. So in that dream, I was like, I don't believe it. I think this is a trick again. I think he's trying to trick me into, you know, thinking that so I would take him back. But... Um, but yeah, when it comes to tarot, death can uh, literally mean like a real death of this one person here, the king of wands, right? Or it's the death of their personality. Maybe they're changing, they're transforming. Because right next to the king of wands, there's the knight of cups. So this may be an indication. This is why I was thinking it could also mean that, as in them changing from being somebody irresponsible or unsure 
what they wanted with you or with this connection. Finally, with the Nine of Cups here, maybe they are ready to offer you love. This person may come in very sincerely and wanting to offer you love. Um, but another twist is, <laughs> I will tell you what I see, like there are many possibilities, right? So you just take what resonates with you. It's a general reading. Um, this could also mean an ending of this person. You put an end to your connection with this person. Or this person may no longer concern you anymore. Or that you just couldn't care about this person anymore because of a new person coming in. You know, sometimes even if you're separated from someone, we're still energetically co connected. I always talk about that, right? We're still genetically. I was going to say genetically connected. Hey, it could be too. Did you know that if you were to be physically intimate with someone, we do exchange our genes? Like you can find in, I, I watched this somewhere, okay? It's a documentary, like a woman's hair. Um, apparently, like this woman died and they did an autopsy and they took a piece of her hair and you could see they literally could find the genes on a piece of her hair, genes of the people she has been physically intimate with. They could even count how many. It's bizarre, right? But that's technology or that's science. Uh, and I feel like uh, some of you, maybe, this person you've been connected with in a while, maybe you and this person are no longer together, but finally you are in energetically cutting the court with this person because there's someone new, right? Someone new. But also it could be this transform transformation of this someone from your past changing from the King of Wands to the Knight of Cups and eventually offering you true love, real love, sincere love. Maybe both of you will reconcile. But either way, I think it's good news because Ten of Cups is still a really, really good card in you know, to come out in an outcome. So either if for some of you it's reconciliation or this could be someone completely new because the Knight of Cups is also, you know, a knight in, in shining armor, somebody who sweeps you off your feet or someone who saves the day, someone who saves you. <laughs> don't say I don't need saving. Virgo, I know I'm also a Virgo. I know we are strong and everything. Once in a while, I remember saying this to someone, I can't remember who, but I said something about, yeah, I may seem really strong, but every now and then, I don't want to be strong. <laughs> it's okay to not be strong. It's okay to have somebody helps you or somebody to save you every now and then. It feels good to be saved sometimes, right? You don't always have to be the strong one. And yeah, I told my friend that before because she always wants to be the strong one but she always ends up you know um well at her weakest she had nobody because she was always the strong ones and i could see through her obviously i'm a terror reader and i'm highly intuitive so i just pat her on her hand and i said you don't always have to be strong you know <laughs> you don't always have to be strong um then she just started crying and everything right but um so for some of you Virgo it's okay not to be strong it's okay to have somebody to come in and save the day actually I've told that to like few of my friends it's not one person because all of my friends are so strong right so we got the four swords right here four swords indicates a lot of thinking contemplation taking a rest could indicate also praying some of you, you could be praying for this Knight of Cups to come in <laughs> uh, to meet your true love, somebody you will spend the rest of your life with. This is a general reading again. I don't know how long this is going to take if you haven't met this person yet. Divine timing for each and every one of you is different. So there's one cup here. A cup can indicate a month. So it could be one month to ten months with the Ten of Cups here, okay? So we've got the world here. In reverse so this is definitely like a stuck energy right and uh, someone from your past may be feeling really stuck even though both of you are separated with the death card here and the ten of pentacles here no it's funny in somebody's mind the death card is like okay we are over we're over for sure but subconsciously we're not over we're we're kind of like taking a break I don't know I definitely send like deep down it could be you or this person 
deep down they know this is not over for real even though it seems real with the death card here but false thoughts maybe we are just taking a break uh, the reason why i'm saying that is because the world here is is, is in re uh, in reverse so that means the chapter hasn't really closed yet even though the connection is done uh, but someone may still think hey maybe we're just taking a break right now or someone could be thinking that they're taking a break and that they would like to transform make some changes and then come forward with the knight of cups here come forward with you know an offer of love it could be an apology ten of pentacles crossing the king of wands maybe somebody it could be due to location it could be due to um, money it could be due to the future you know some of you i don't know there could be a million things but for some of you i feel like it could be because maybe both don't really quite see or may not have your future aligned that's what i'm getting uh some of you or it could be because somebody is not committed doesn't want to be committed or somebody doesn't want to have kids it can be anything right because we're talking about future here ten of pentacles it's crossing also another thing i'm getting here is it's crossing the king of wands in my voice because it hasn't become reality yet someone could be thinking about in reality like if both of you were to be together will it be a sustainable relationship will it come true will we spend the rest of our lives with together with and you know someone could also be imagining the fact that maybe both of you could build something together mm -hmm. let's see more Virgo. a little bit long this reading Five of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and then we've got the Page of Wands here in my verse. That's someone who misses you, yeah, and then um, feeling kind of lost without you. And Ace of Pentacles here also for me, this indicates an offer coming in from this person from your past. I feel like this person could be a fire sign again. Page of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, could be a Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus can be any sign but what i'm sensing here is that this person is still very tied to you the, with the devil here this person be obsessed over you or that they really want you they see you because the thing is ace of pentacles is like someone whom is someone may see you as somebody very precious um they treasure you right hence they can't let you go maybe because they can't find anybody like you but the Ace of Pentacles also indicates a new beginning, right? New beginning after an ending, new beginning after a transformation. Somebody may want to transform and then come to you. Um, and the judgment, unless roles are being reversed here. And the judgment here in reverse, someone may know that they made the wrong judgment call for behaving a certain way in the past or for making the wrong judgment call, making the wrong decisions with the two of pentacles in reverse. Someone could be weighing, it could be weighing a lot on this person. And the ten of wands here in reverse, it feels like maybe this person thinks, well, I don't have to carry this burden if I say, let's start over with the ace of pentacles. And this time around, I'm serious. This time around, I want to give you something that we can hold on to. Uh, we can make a pact. We can make promises with each other. And we talk about the future and we start the we start planning so that's definitely that's what i'm getting it we've got the six of cups here someone could be hoping that for a reconciliation someone could be hoping that uh, you would return to them or you could be hoping for somebody to return to you six of cups you know this to me indicates a lot, a lot of uh, good memories in regards to the past reminiscing about the past good times that both of you have shared with each other but six of cups also can indicate soulmate connections so for some of you, you could be hoping to meet your soulmate if you're single uh, or you may think that someone you are currently dealing with is your soulmate um five of swords is right here this is sitting in your advice position. So it's really saying to play the game well. <laughs> Five of Swords. It's like a mind game, mind playing, you know, mind games. But I feel like Five of Swords definitely indicates you need to be, you know, smarter than whoever you could be dealing with right now. This person may be toxic. This person may also be manipulative. So perhaps um, recognizing that you would you will um 
you will play the game better i hate to say this love shouldn't be like a game right um but we sometimes have to play a little game with them you know it's funny i was talking to my friend just recently just i think two days ago we're talking about how you know sometimes when even for girls for women you know if if a guy seems way too clingy also it's a bit of a turn off for us because i met this guy uh and i've known him for a while but you know he was always really into me but i didn't but he, he's really good looking and everything he's, he's just stable and everything i i i think i mentioned this this guy before but the thing is he was so clingy <laughs> he was so good too he was too good and i was trying to figure out why right why wasn't i into him like that and then after a couple of days thinking it's like maybe because you know it is too easy you know i mean you think a lot of people think that only guys think that way but no girls think that way as well but maybe it's a subconscious thing as well we're not actually doing it deliberately but i feel like five of swords is definitely advising you to play this game well if there's somebody you really want um, perhaps don't you know don't reply so quickly or that don't show like you're way too interested in not being too clingy you know let them chase that's what i'm getting here if there's someone new let them chase yeah let's uh, <laughs> can't believe i'm telling you guys these things uh but anyway we're gonna, uh we're gonna draw a few of these romance angels oracle Okay, I don't need to wear my glasses because it's brighter now. I can see better. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your findings, your sorry, your feelings with each other. Okay, yeah. So if there is somebody, maybe this is someone from your past returning. There could be a heart to heart conversations between the two of you. And some of you, yeah, only some of you, if you are reconciling with somebody, there's definitely a message in regards to reconciliation here. Because we've got Six of Cups and the Ten of Cups, right? And also, the devil feels like a connection that hasn't been quite released yet completely. So we've got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religion, religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay, the religious factors for me may not always mean like religion. It could be, you know, just may not have the same goals. Um, like I said, I don't want to have children, right? So for some of you, if you don't have the same goals or same things that you want in life, then that person is not going to be suitable for you both of you are not going to be suitable for each other and for some of you it could be literally you know religious factors i i have seen because i'm malaysian and um i do have many friends who are muslims i do have many friends who are not muslims and when they fall in love and you know they always end up breaking up because uh in malaysia when you when you marry a muslim you have to convert to that religion to a muslim so to a lot of people that's like a deal breaker right they may think about it but then eventually they'll be like no i don't think i want to you know convert because i'm marrying you if i want to convert it's because i want to convert right and a religion thing is a very religion is a very um it's a personal thing or you know it's so but anyway so maybe it's because of religion because i've seen so many of my friends i've like, broken up and you know even getting a divorce because of religious differences and all background differences it could also be different race and uh could also mean for me some of you parents parents who object to the the um connection well, it can be any of these things. So we've got the honeymoon here. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Some of you, you're going, <clears throat> you're going to travel, Virgo. You're going traveling. May not always mean honeymoon with somebody, but it could also mean for some of you, you're just going traveling or you're just going for a holiday. Um, some of you, this card every time it comes out, it makes me feel like, hey, you might meet somebody while you're traveling, right? Um, maybe. Or it could be literally like a honeymoon thing, going on a honeymoon with somebody. So it says, it is safe for you to love, open your heart, 
uh, to give and receive the highest energy of all. So for some of you, it is safe for you to love, especially this Knight of Cups here. It feels really sincere. This person may be someone you're currently connected with, but it could also be someone coming in if you don't have anybody. So this person does feel safe. Feels a bit like a romantic person. Could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. Can be any sign, but definitely strong water I'm seeing here. Oh, I forgot about the Hermit right here. The Hermit is you, Virgo, sitting in you position. So um, a lot of you are still in your element, right? This is your element. You're still in your own element. You, are, you can still be very cautious or that you analyze a lot you, an you analyze people you analyze a lot you analyze about your future what you're doing and you've become wiser and wiser because the hermit here you know with the gray hair to me is somebody very wise um you're still in your element for some of you you could still be uh, isolating yourself yeah it could be isolating yourself from someone from your past maybe you need time to think reflect over what had happened between you and somebody but i feel like you know this the hermit and the six of cups six of cups is above the hermit here feels like when someone returns you're going to analyze this person you're going to think long and hard you know and reflect and wondering should you give this person a second chance or not but spirit's definitely saying five of swords play hard to get or don't jump into it that quickly don't let this person back in that quickly um, take your time, okay? No rush at all whatsoever. Don't and don't rush, and maybe the results will be good with the Ten of Cups if you don't rush into it. Um, but the Ten of Cups again can indicate reconciliation. In this row here for me, someone might want to reconcile, but Spirit says don't let this person back in that easily. But also there's a new person. If there's a new person, you know, don't jump into that with them that quickly. Or that just let them chase. Just let them chase. Yeah, let them do all the romantic things. So be uh, uh, romantic gestures this person is going to be very very romantic that's definitely what i'm getting some of you you're, if you're currently connected with someone maybe both of you are going holidays together it's a honeymoon here and it's going to be a very lovey-dovey uh travels <laughs> holidays i definitely see that but the religious factors also can indicate maybe this person is a different religion uh has a different religion or a different background different race different upbringing yeah and both of you may end up having this heart to heart conversations could be with this new person also could be this with this past person all right virgo wow 22 22 minutes long this reading i've done longer ones like 45 minutes i think about ones in the blue moon but take care virgo this is your reading i hope it serves you well um, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to leave you as usual with two playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. Second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs with different topics, different questions. Title is bonus compilation reading. And I am open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. For those of you who would like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Alright, take care, Virgo. Bye.